Hello world. Hello everybody. Hello YouTube. This is my weather report for May 10th, 2011, 12.25 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, this is going to start in here because I have something odd to report. That's my cooler van. It's in my window. You know, ghetto and all. Um, I have lived in this area for a bit over 50 years now, between Las Vegas and out here. I've been out here 20 years. And, um, never in the 50 years that I have ever lived in this area has this cooler, not this very cooler, um, been off in May. Never. Round about March, we start turning it on and it'll get a little cool in the evening. This and that, you know. Oh, Mother's Day flowers. Jessica brought them. Anyway, um... Once we turn this thing on, about mid-April, last week of April, it's on 24-7, on high cool, no matter what, for, uh, gosh, till September, it'll run for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Guess what's happening now? Let's have a look at me. Okay, let's go with the weather. It is extremely cloudy. Heavy clouds. Gusts just came up. Woohoo! Okay. Now this is the third day of this really, really high energy weather. Now the reason I can tell it's high energy is if you look at the clouds, they're ragged and tore up and they're really, you know, I guess they call it got an attitude. <laughs> Cat house. <laughs> The wind's just starting to come up again now. Um, it's 59 degrees in here. I mean, it, it's it's frigid. We got down into the 40s last night. Never in May have I ever. Now, someone can reach in and do some research. Maybe I'm wrong. But I have never seen it this cold in May. Check this out. I'm in my hoodie, man. It is nice and cool, boy. Uh... The Bureau Magic, <laughs> he's out there baking like a chicken. Sorry, brother. <laughs> I don't understand it. Never have I seen this. Never. Let's go have a look. Um, we had those hot little hot spells, you know, when it got hot in the car. And now we're back to this. We're wearing coats. No way. Ever. Something's going on. Now, I have a question. Um, this radiation that's leaking into the Pacific Ocean, right? Now, this is hot. It's, it has a temperature to it. Or it excites molecules or whatever around it and heats them up in a way. Now, my question is, if we've got these tons and tons and tons of this radioactive water going down into the ocean. Now if that hits the ocean floor, you know where I live, no just kidding. Is that heating up the ocean floor? Is that heating up the water down there? You know, I mean if you change the water's temperature on the ocean floor even by one or two degrees, what does that mean to us? What does that mean to us? You know, you can't change a temperature like that somewhere so like that. Because uh, Scott with Believers Underground, he says that the radiation fallout that has been landing on our glaciers and ice packs and all that, heats that up and melts it. Well, if it can do that, can it heat up the ocean from the bottom up? Because it's particles that are heavy. He says it's a metal. You know, uranium's a metal, plutonium's a metal, all that stuff is a metal. Metal is heavy, a metal sinks. So even though it was hot, it would still go to the bottom of the ocean. And now it's circulating in all these currents on the ocean floor. What is that doing to the ocean? And is that creating all this moisture and all this energy? <laughs> You're slow. You suck at being dogs. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, let me get out of this wind. 
Um, what does that do to the ocean floor? Does it heat up that water down there? If it can melt an ice pack, can it heat up that frigid water on the ocean floor and make it rise constantly? Just like boiling water, right? You know, then it comes up. It'll change the whole temp the temperature in the whole water column, right? If it changes that temperature from it being what it was for millennia to now what it is presently, and we're not being told any of this, right? Man, I have got to get out there and clean that desert. Look at that crap. I hate that. Anyway, look at, that's my point. This weather's not supposed to be here. And it's cold. Iowa is baking. I'm frigid. And it's heavy rain. Man, I don't know, guys. How long is my video? Six minutes? Yeah, that's too much. All right. I really like to have an answer, you know. We need to look into this now. They're heating the bottom of the ocean with nuclear fallout with nuclear accident waste waste accident accident waste check this dude out a bee let's see the bees are out but now they're down Ooh, ah, a bee <laughs> I'm scared of bees run alright live by your wits not by your worries bye